Hello! It's been like a day and I wanted to record again so I can track my progress. It's already been a bit of an uh, upgrade. I moved the beacon. I had to make the base wider so I could put the beacon pieces diagonal from each other because I didn't like when they're next to each other, right? In the normal 4x4. There's this connecting piece in between that makes the that looks makes it look weird. Uh, I replaced a lot of the floor with smooth stone. Doing that over here by the tree farm, I uh, I broke some redstone at a bad time, and then it blew up the duper at the top, so I had to rebuild that. I also worked on the service entrance. This is the old one here. See now it's not connected. I have this entrance here. So it goes up. You can enter the filters back here. But you can also go up to the surface. And it's nicely placed. It's like right next to the duper. So it's not in the way. If you look down here though. Right? No, it's hard to get in. This is the old storage for the warped fungus and crimson fungus. So that's uh, when it came through here, it would drop down this way. It would drop down this way and go that way. But now I started the structure of the nether tree farm that I want to build. And this is the water stream path it's going to take. It's going to go through here and it's going to drop down and pop up there. Because that's where the player is going to stand and farm the trees. Yeah, that's that's all I really have to show. There's a castle being built out here. That's all for now. Okay, let's try to do this water stream together. Ice. I don't have water. That's already a bad start. Uh... Get a few water buckets. Okay. So it's gonna drop down here. I need ice. Uh, maybe back here. Okay. Now the water will push it along. More ice. Pressure plate. I'm gonna come along this way. Take that turn. Pressure plate. Uh, it's got a drop here. Yeah. And then... Let's ice this part. Ooh, too much, too much. This haste to beacon. It's double-edged sword. And I did it again. I... I... Now you go there. Take that bend. And then more ice. That should be good. I have to sleep. I'm trapped in the water. Wait. Whale fence on. I was wondering why we started to sleep. 
The other guys on the server don't really care about sleeping. It's only me and him. Okay. And now we need to get soul sand from somewhere. Uh, this way? I kind of have to rummage around the chests to find the soul sand. Mm, there's one. Here, here, here. Maybe I should try replacing this water. That's better. It drops down here. Needs to be soul sand. Uh, this also needs to be closed off. Replace these with, with uh, real blocks. Can I fit this up there? Now I'm trapped down here. Got it. Oh. Nice. So hypothetically, right? Let's get some bone meal. Oh, I have bone blocks here. So when I run the machine... So when I'm standing up here... Yes! I'm collecting it! I've done a little bit of progress. Uh, there's walls now. I made an entrance under here. So I think, did I talk about this before? This bone meal farm now. Instead of going right here to hoppers right next to it, it goes down into this water stream. And it goes around and around and ends up here. And then I like to use barrels for the block form. Just to like tell the difference. The farm thing goes into the chest and then the compacted block form goes into barrels. And we take this path through and we get to the iron farm, which we're going to have to connect to the rest of the farming area eventually. I kind of like this idea where you walk through the farms. Like, you like step around them. It's kind of like things are built over, under, on top of each other, you know. I ripped out this whole area, covered it in smooth stone. I tried to kind of tie the beacon in, give it some like foundation. My bed moved there. I put up this... It's called a retaining wall, this one, and I built the duper for the TNT farm. Sorry, the duper for the TNT tree farm. And I finished the water stream. I hooked everything up. Let me just show you what it does. It's, I don't think I really explained the whole process. Uh, I'm going to take you through an operation of the farm. So let's say I want to farm the blue tree. So I take the warp nylium. I uh, clear some inventory space. So what I have to do is I have to take a stack of these warp nyliums. And then I have to switch out the blocks here. I made some additions. Oh, this is not a staircase. I made some additions here. This piston thing is not included in the original design. But I made it so I can switch out the blocks easily. So then now it closes off the hole so I can switch these blocks off. Without worrying about losing them. I want green blocks so I have to put the green blocks down. Green tree so I need green block. And I go and catch these. And uh, it takes a little bit longer, but we're going to go put these back so I don't lose them. There's no entrance yet. 
that's what we're gonna work on after. Red is here, put them back in here. Then I wanna make sure that this is on. Flip lever away from you to stop the dispenser elevator. So you heard that dispenser elevator go off. Maybe. Then we're gonna need to put some bone meal into here. This is what will replenish our our mushrooms, the green mushrooms. I showed this a little bit earlier, so I'm not gonna show it again. Flip it on, lever is back here. So that's gonna start. Then I flip this guy on, put bone meal in this hand, web fungus in the other hand. Make sure my inventory is good. And everything's filled up. Then I hold it right. Oh, I gotta open up the hole. Then I can go here and farm. You see my fungus starts to get replenished if you look down at the bottom. See that? Yeah, so that's how it works. I have to sleep. Okay, so anyway. Oh, there's too many things going off right now. Turn this off. Then when I'm done, I turn that off. Turn this off. And then usually I'll turn this off. Because if this farm is off, if this farm up here, the Nylium generator farm is off, and I send up extra bone meal, it'll get stuck in this. See right here, it'll get stuck. And I'm afraid it's gonna get, like... I don't know, it's gonna like get jammed or something. So what happens is, uh, there's so much stuff going on, now I have to explain it. The exploded things go down here, they take this water stream, pops up over here. Why am I popping up with stuff there? I don't think I even need to do that actually. I just wanted to, the original farm did that. So I, <laughs> I kind of just followed it. It actually doesn't need to, now that I think about it. Yeah. But it does that anyway. My inventory is full, so the blocks don't go into my into my inventory, so it's fine. The wood goes this way, goes down here, along here. These are the item filters for the different pieces of wood. The green one, the red one, the red one, the shroom light. Those are the only things I really need. Anything that's not wood keeps going along. It hits this line of composters here. The line of composters turns it into bone meal. The bone meal either goes into this storage here, if this thing is locked, or it goes up this elevator. This is a dispenser elevator. It shoots the bone meal all the way back up into here it shoots it up into this dispenser and then I can use it to get more fungus and it also makes all this other stuff that I don't need that goes along the same water path it goes down the same hole into the same water stream there's item filters here that pick up the fungus and anything else gets composted and now I just need to make it look prettier. I also think maybe I want to move the bone meal so it goes back up there into my inventory using the same water stream. Uh, I'm trying to think if that's a good idea or if I should just bring a bunch of bone meal. I mean I set up the bone meal dispenser here. So I think since I have so many bone meal farms I'll just like I'll just bring my own bone meal. Yeah, so uh, I built these walls around 
So now it's kind of like hard to get around in the farm. But I want to make it so if you're just walking, right? If I don't have any elytra, I should be able to use all the machines. It's like the... every Not everybody that runs these farms will have elytra. In theory, you know, if this is the multi-person operation. So I made all these pathways around. There's like this pathway to the iron farm that we saw. And there's this pathway that goes around here. And then the wall is going to be built up back here. So there's a pathway to this tree farm. But I'm trying to think if I want to... If I want to put that... Uh, if I want to get to the storage room this way... I originally wanted to do it this way. Just go here. And this is going to be stairs. Stairs down. Here. But now I'm thinking... Maybe it'd be better if I did the staircase backside this way and it comes down this way or all that stuff is kind of far away from the actual farm right so maybe I do it going this way originally I wanted it to be like a three wide staircase but because there's so many water streams around I decided it'd be kind of better functionally to be like a winding one by one staircase uh, but I think it looks kind of cool as well. The other things have bigger staircases. And I will stop rambling and get to building and bring you back later. I finished all this stuff over here. So you can come around this way. And then use the farm. And when you're done using the farm, you can go into the storage room. Here's where the, there's none right now, the crimson stems, the warped stems, and the shroom lights in the middle. This little indicator, so. The idea was to kind of make it half taken over by the red, half taken over by the blue. Because these vines grow upwards, I tried to make this tree coming down from the top. And this tree kind of branching up and coming to the side. It's really cluttered, but I think that kind of fits the vibe of these fungus. I also put in like a vine in case you need to grow some, or if you want to harvest this from the farm, you can fill your inventory with this. Same for the red. And then this part I didn't really deal with. It's not really... Oh, there's still some stuff from what I was building. This isn't really part of the farm, it's kind of just overflow, so I didn't really theme this. Okay, that's done. Let me show you what else I built. I didn't record. This here is our carpet powered super smelter. They call it a carpet printer. That's what my friend called it. So it's, it's duping, which some people might not agree with, but I wanted to try it, so... When you turn if you want, it's really loud. It creates a bunch of carpet, shoots it up this water stream. The first thing it does is it goes to fill up these furnaces. Since it's just a constant stream of items, I don't really worry about like which color goes into the furnaces, so it just runs over a hopper line here. And then it'll fill up the furnaces if any of them need extra fuel. Then you can use this chest to drop items into the furnaces and the outputs here. Then after that, the excess carpet comes down here, slides down the line, and it gets put into these chests. This is based on color. And then it gets burned. We're gonna be using a lot of carpet for our map art later. So I felt this was a good thing to build. As I was working to get some resources to build redstone, I realized there's another potential problem that I should solve. So this is our gold farm. It's an Ian XO4 design. And then after we get enough gold, we take it down here to the bartering farm. But I completely forgot that this bartering farm is manual storage. When you turn on the farm, They start getting the gold. 
and then they'll just throw the items on the ground. So I, it's my job to stand here. Let's see if I got, can get an example. So, crag obsidian. Here, obsidian here. This is soul speed too, we don't want that. I just throw it out of my inventory, down there. Everything else is things I'm going to collect, so I put them in here. But when there's a lot of gold coming through, it takes me a while to keep up my inventory. Because my inventory gets full, and I have to like manually sort everything. It's going, it's a little, little painful. So I'm thinking, I'm going to set it up so I throw the items out here. And then a piston pushes it along. A second to align it on. Piston pushes it along, and then a second piston pushes it down the line, and it auto sorts. The other only problem is that there's a lot of unsortable items that come out of this, and some of those unsortable items is things that we want, and some aren't things we want. Like Soul Speed Two is bad, but Soul Speed Three is good, and we have a lot of these fire resist potions. I don't know if we're going to keep them all. It's good to have. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot. So, I'll probably auto burn at the end. I'll see what I can come up with. I had to go get some allays for the filters. Hey, where are all the... Where are all the mobs at? I made it back. That was a bit painful. So, the reason there's no mob spawning is that I finished the mob switch. I AFK'd overnight. And uh, this lightning rod used to be lower, but then I guess there was a thunderstorm because I didn't sleep, and then I got struck by lightning, and then it set the blocks on fire, and I lost all my stuff. But I, I guess it was worth it, because now I have no mob spawning. Only when I'm online, though. If anybody else is online, then the mob cap increases, and it doesn't work yet. I'm afraid to AFK here again, because I think I'm going to get killed by lightning anyway let's take these guys back to the base okay we're back the LA's here whale fans here everything's as it should be I'll clone these and then I'll build this order and then I'll show you okay let's so turn that one on this pillar and then turn on where is it over here turn this one on then you put in your gold fill your inventory besides one slot make sure you don't throw out anything good the lever Aim above the chest and then just wait for them to start throwing things at me. And then I start throwing. So the way this works is that I throw the items above this thing, right? This, uh, I'm stuck on this honey. I throw it above here and then this thing shoots out the items at intervals. It's just the hopper clock connected to a piston so I throw it onto this above this chest and that angle makes it hit the chest and slide down and then it slides along the honey and these are just item filters for all the different items that I want anything that doesn't get caught there falls down here then this piston pusher pushes it it moves faster uh, anything that's stackable goes into the fire. Anything. The only things that I'm collecting are soul speed and fire resistance with these LAs. So they catch the items and then the rest get burned. So I was looking for an LA sorter online, but the ones that I wanted to use. I, okay, so I went to the video, and I, it's like a long video by some YouTuber, like a guy, like, uses YouTube for monetization, so I guess he makes the video long, 
And then I, I get to the, like, like, I'm skipping around the video, and then I finally get to the part where they talk about the LA sorter. And then I, I build that LA sorter. It doesn't even work because it's a water stream. And I need a different one because it's ice only here. So then I have to design it myself. And then, because everybody's talking about how LA's can, oh, they can, they can like sort enchanted books. But actually, LA's don't dis discern different enchantments. They just collect all the enchanted books. So I could have just used like a, a bookshelf or something instead. So now I have to, Oh, this time around when I threw the gold, I didn't get any soul speed, but I need to manually still take off the twos and ones. Yeah. But at least I can burn everything else. This has been another lane Minecrafting production. See you later. Goodbye.